Welcome to Let's Talk Meshing's Tutorial Tuesday, where we show you how to use a feature in just a couple of minutes. Today we're going to be covering the area and volume ratio examine metrics. Now both area and volume ratio are computed in much the same way. We take an element, whether that be on the surface or in the volume, and its surrounding adjacent elements, and return to you the maximum ratio of either the cell areas or the cell volumes. So I'm going to start by selecting the surface mesh for the car and go to examine area ratio. And in this case, you'll notice my area ratio is actually quite high. It's above 83. And if I set my max to 10 and turn on the histogram, you can see we have 35 elements that have an area ratio greater than 10. Now, if you're building an unstructured surface mesh that consists of triangles, you're going to want to try to keep the maximum between three to four at the most on the surface. And that's going to guarantee that you have a nice, smooth surface mesh and distribution of cell areas on the surface so that when you're generating your volume mesh via extrusion, you're generating a very high quality volume mesh. If you're generating, say, a quad dominant surface mesh, you can increase that a little bit and try to keep your maximum no greater than eight to 10. In this case, we have very, really high area ratios. We need to identify where they are. I'm going to go ahead and zoom to the maximum. And we can see that basically what we have going on is a sliver triangle directly adjacent to some much larger elements at the corner of this surface. So now that we've identified that, we could try to figure out how we want to fix it, whether that be clipping the geometry, either changing the topology, or even just refining the surface mesh in that vicinity to bring the cell sizes down to reduce that area ratio. Let's go ahead and take a look now at the volume ratio by selecting the block and going to examine volume ratio. And in this case, our volume ratio is also quite high. It's almost 80. If I set the max to 10 and turn on the histogram, you can see 194 elements have a volume ratio greater than 10. We can start to see where they are. They're highlighted in red. If I zoom to that same location where we had high area ratios on the surface, you can see a collection of elements that have really high volume ratios. There's also some at the base of the windshield on the car where there are also high area ratios on the surface. And so that kind of tells you that if you have some high area ratios on the surface in that vicinity, you're most likely going to get some large volume ratios as well. If you like this video, be sure to click the thumbs up button and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. And if you have any questions or comments, drop us a line down below or connect with us on Twitter, which is linked in the description. Thank you all and have a pleasant Tuesday.